How big is this warehouse and how many sons do you have? Uh, whole plot is on 25 hectares and uh, the maximum, let's say, expansion of the DC is 125,000 square meters. Currently, we have finished the first phase, which is uh, around 80,000 square meters. Useful storage space is over 72,000 square meters. And if we, let's say, recalculate that on the pallet places, which is the major, let's say, storage unit for us, it's around 83,000 uh, capacity is around 83,000 pallet places. And what are the different temperature zones? Yes, we have different temperature zones. Also here, the major part is ambiental part of the warehouse, but the, also the rest of the DC uh, has different uh, temperature zones, starting with the, the uh, fruit and veg part with around 10% uh, uh, degrees. Uh, then we have a cold chilled part or for the perishable goods. It's around uh, 2 to 4, 4 to 6 degrees. Also chambers for the fresh meat, 0 to 2 degrees, and uh, also two chambers for the frozen part uh, of uh, minus 20, minus 25 percent. What are the highlights uh, of this construction, especially considering sustainability? Yeah, well, uh, of course, major focus for us was the logistics design and that this building should be uh, pr uh, primary uh, uh, in focus for the logistics operations. But also construction-wise, because we started that in 2013 and 14 to consider, I mean, uh, we wanted to see what is the, what is the world's benchmark for the construction-wise. So we included, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, good walls, uh, and uh, box within the box walls which could uh, uh, bring us the highest energy efficiency and uh, not to lose too much energy. Also uh, what is important that uh, we use almost 4 megawatts of capacity for the cooling and heating system here. So around 1 megawatt we are recuperating this energy again to the system uh, which, is, which is also energy efficient. This huge building also used a lot of lights, so LED lights uh, moving sensors and everything, uh, you know, from uh, that part is also implemented in order to, to reduce, you know, the, uh, uh, let's say, uh, useless of uh, electricity. Uh, also, innovative part is uh, battery charging room bring us not only the highest productivity of changing the batteries for the forklifts, and also they brought us the significant savings in, uh, in, a, in a battery life cycle and also cost efficiency in, from the aspects of the energy and electricity. Mm -hmm. So all this combining bring us somewhere 15% of uh, carbon footprint less than uh, it was in the previous, let's say, business model. Mm. How many people um, do work in this uh, warehouse, uh, in the warehouse area, and how many forklifts do you use? Yeah. Well, we still didn't reach, let's say, the, uh, the highest rate uh, in the peak of the season, but currently we can say that in our distribution centers we have around 600 uh, people involved in warehouse operations uh, and uh, our expectation uh, that we're going to finish this year uh, with uh, over 750, maybe 800 people in the whole organization. From the aspects of the fleet resources or forklifts, we are going to use over 300 forklifts in our three shifts. Mm -hmm. So that means, uh, don't forget that we are using the battery charging room, so we are not when we are charging the battery, we are not losing that forklift, we are just switching the battery, which means that in case that we don't have battery charging room, it will be more than double forklift than it is used now. Uh, you have chosen the German company Jung Heinrich for the forklifts. What were the reasons for that? Well, competition was tough, of course, uh, for any company, it's not, you know, uh, uh, this number of forklifts are very interesting, so we organized the tender, there was uh, the major suppliers and producers for this kind of equipment worldwide, uh, but in, after several ranks, uh, New Henrik was uh, our choice, the major reason is uh, the, quali the quality, second thing is that uh, our market is, uh, in our market, Johannes is very popular, so the users, let's say, the forklift drivers are used on, on this equipment. 
and the uh, quality is uh, approved. Also, what is important for us is after sales service. They have really, really good support here in Serbia. So we also make uh, collaboration with, our, with the with EU Heinrich and their service provider. So together in our facility, we have in whole three shifts uh, their 24 hour support as a uh, as a, a, a full uh, full service uh, contract, so you know if you consider all this and you consider the quality of equipment and of course of course commercial parts, you know the Johannik was the best choice for us. Mm -hmm. Would you call this warehouse uh, state of the art in the south uh, eastern European area? Well, definitely yes. I mean, okay, the logistics industry in, in Serbia and this, let's say, region is not, of course, on the level of Germany and uh, Western countries, but uh, uh, if we see the benchmark, what is the benchmark and what is the, uh, the reality in, in the Southeast region, uh, I can say that definitely uh, this kind of facility and whole supply chain network which we developed as a new model uh, with the center of this new DC is definitely something which we can say that is state of the art, not only for the uh, Serbian market, also for the let's say all this area but as you can as you can see uh, and uh, during our tour that uh, we are really can uh, you know put uh, next to the all other uh, let's say our uh, partners and colleagues in the west countries also so mm -hmm. What we are expecting is that definitely there is a space for further growth of even uh, cost efficiency and, and even service level. But of course, for that part, it is necessary f uh, that uh, suppliers who are, let's say, uh, running in our country are capable also to increase their service level. By increasing their service level, we will be capable to increase our service level and to satisfy, let's say, as finally in the chain, our consumer, right? Um, after almost one year in operation, what are your major results in KPIs? Yes, well after, let's say almost yes, 10 years of, uh, of full running these operations in new DC, uh, we can see that, say that the first findings for us as are that uh, we increase our productivity and it's higher than our uh, previous. Of course, the job is not done. There is a lot of things that has to be done uh, more, but according to our parameters, current parameters, uh, we are expecting to go over expected KPIs and uh, probably under the, let's say, uh, best in class cost efficiency in supply chain in Serbia. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.